Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 20 through 26. Jesus prayed for his disciples, and then he said, I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the foundations of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved may be in them as I am in them and you are in me. Here ends the reading. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning's gospel is striking in that Jesus references the nature of the glory of his mission and his coming kingdom. He says, the glory that you have given me, I have given them so that they may be one as we are one. I and them and you and me, that they may become completely one so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. In that reading, glory and love go hand in hand, and it points forward to Jesus' crucifixion, which in John's gospel has yet to happen. That's where we see the Son of Man seated on the throne of glory, which turns out to be the cross with his arms stretched out in love. This weekend, we celebrate and we honor the men and women who have ventured forth um, in times of conflict and have given their utmost in service of our country. While we honor their sacrifice, it strikes me too that glory, according to Jesus's gospel, is not found in heroic strife and overpowering enemies, much like the Roman world might have defined glory. But in that image of Jesus on the cross, of a life laid down for friends, that is the kind of glory that we as Christians aspire to. And what we honor in the brave men and women who have served our country and have made it possible for us to be here today is not so much their heroic feat, but their willingness to set aside their own best interests for the sake of something greater. Jesus reminds us of the unity of the church, hoping that through that image of his love on the cross, that image of glory, we all may be one. In the same way, I hope during this time of division and social unrest and political discontentment that we might be inspired by the kind of loving sacrifice that lays down life, loves, hopes for friends. Friendship is the glory of God. The glory of God is our friend Jesus Christ, the man fully alive. Amen.
let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O judge of the nations, we remember before you with grateful hearts the men and women of our country who in the day of decision ventured much for the liberties we now enjoy. Grant that we may not rest until all the people of this land share the benefits of true freedom and gladly accept its disciplines. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.